This is the Tang Star Science Big Cell Membrane Foldable. It's composed of three pieces of paper that when cut along the seams and taped form this neat little foldable that fits inside of a binder without impeding the binder rings. For an interactive notebook, you would just cut along the dashed edges to make this foldable smaller. Now let's take a look at the specific features. Here in the center, you have your typical cell membrane showing the different types of glycolipids, glycoproteins, peripheral proteins, and integral proteins, and cholesterol with the phospholipid bilayer. Some interesting features are if you go to the left-hand side, you see that for one of the phospholipids, I've actually blown it up and shown you a larger diagram showing the nonpolar fatty acid tails and the polar phosphate choline head. So when you want to talk about the specific biochemical uh, nature of the phospholipid, you can do that there, and you can write the description for that here. Now on the right side, I've provided this third leaflet, which you can choose to use or not if you want to, the students to go further. But this one talks about the different functions of the membrane proteins. So there's four main functions and I've provided diagrams to illustrate each. And these boxes here will give them uh, a place where they can write in their description. So if you want to go further, add this. If you just want to do the typical cell membrane, you just do the first two pages. Now, if we zoom in, what you'll see is that for each um, structure, what I've done is I've provided a box with a label and a number. Now, I provide various options with each foldable, and this particular option is the most comprehensive. This will allow you to go step by step through the lesson and reference each number or label as you go along. So you can say, let's look at structure number two, let's look at structure number three, it's the integral protein, etc. Now, this is great for students who need to um, have more structure so that they can always find their place and you can lead them through the lesson. Now, another option I provide would be the boxes with the numbers and an underline so that for some students, you might want to say um, structure number two, who knows what that is? Structure number three, who knows what that is? So this way you can uh, get a little more participation going. And I provide other options as well. So you can choose for your specific level of learners in your class. Now, when it comes to filling in this foldable, um, don't you worry, I've provided you with a full answer key, and this answer key has more than enough explanation for you to understand what each structure is. And from this, you can pick and choose how much you want your students to know so that you can customize notes for your particular class. And when this is done, look at it. It's a beautiful and amazing graphic organizer for students to review for their upcoming quizzes, tests, or exams on this topic. It's a great activity for having students actually learn uh, the, the topic of cell membranes as well.